Hello my pixies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I have some really exciting, exciting pieces to flip today. We are doing a thrift flip. I love how everything turned out and I'm super excited about this. I do just wanna put a little disclaimer. Um, if my energy seems off in the beginning of this video, that's because <laughs> it is. I was not in a good headspace when I started filming this video, but you know what? I think that's okay. I don't want to edit that out or refilm just because I was having a bad day because bad days are, you know what? They're part of life and I don't want my videos to not reflect that. Okay. Anyway, but regardless of that, I am super proud about how this video turned out and I put a lot of work into it. So I hope you all love it. Without further ado, let's start the magic. Get it? Because we're all pixies. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. So the very first thing we're going to do is make a set out of this little slip dress. So I'm just using this white eyeliner I have to cut about where I think I want to crop it. And then I got to the zipper. I realized I did not think this through, but that's okay. It's losing its function and just becoming fashion. And that's sometimes all right. So I'm just snipping it off. And then I'm going to turn the shirt part that I've now cut inside out and pin up the side. You definitely want to turn stuff inside out just so that when you sew up, um, sew it up like you won't see it from the outside. I'm doing the exact same thing to create a clean hem at the bottom of the shirt as well. Okay, so now I'm designing. Whoa, everything's dinging. I'm sorry. I'm gonna design the skirt. So I'm just, you know, hanging on to it right here. And we're just gonna try some things. So you see these two pleats? Like, if I line those up right, um, hip bones, that's cute, right? And then in the back, I folded this over. I'm gonna pin it there. I'm gonna sew that. Obviously, like, I have to be able to get out of this. So I'm going to put a pin just to mark both spots, like a pin where the pin should go, I guess. So I'm gonna put one there. Wow, that looks dangerous. Here. And then I'm gonna take this one out. Then I'm just sewing everything that I've pinned thus far. Here's the thing, is that now this, I have to be able to figure out if I did it right, but I don't know how to do that because I just sewed it up and now I can't get into it. I will not give up. Okay, creative solutions. Now I decided I wanted the shirt to fit a little more snugly, so I definitely should have used some measuring situation of any kind, really. I just eyeballed how much and definitely don't do that because it was kind of tight on me, but I basically just eyeballed how much I wanted to take out and then pinned that up and then just sewed along where I pinned. For all of this, you can also use fabric glue. Well, now the question is just, can I still get into it? and? We're just gonna figure that out together. So it'll, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be so much fun. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm having so much fun. <gasps> Yay, it's so cute and little. Love how this set came out. I think it's super wearable and really great for summer. I actually really like that zipper detailing on the side too. I didn't catch it super well in this clip, but trust me, it's cute. My next feat was to snatch the waist of these beautiful pastel blue pants. So what I was kind of like thinking with these, I want it to be like this, but then it's like so much I gotta take out. So basically like fold this over and then only have to sew like right there and the same with this side. So I just have to figure out, I guess, how much that is. So I'm just gonna stare at myself in this mirror and figure that out for a second. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that looks snatched. I'm just gonna pin that. Okay, I am a little bit concerned about this one because I'm not sure my sewing machine can like handle this. And you know, that might be cool too. Maybe even to snatch a little bit more. If I do some darts right there. Is this cool or is this weird? Well, maybe if I sewed it all the way down. Okay, I'm just gonna pin it and we're gonna see. 
I think this is really cool and these are gonna be really cute. Oh my god. <laughs> I ended up sewing these by hand just because I didn't think my sewing machine needle could handle them and this, to say the least, I struggled but honestly I think sewing by hand is a really great skill to have. Okay, wow, this is getting to be a long day. I have been filming since like 11 and it's 4.49. Um, <laughs> I want to show you guys these pants. Oh my gosh, so, so freaking cute. So I did so just little like darts. There's more here. They're so freaking cute. I really like how they're turning out. These pants are my prize possession. They are probably my favorite thing I own and my favorite piece of clothing I have ever created. I love them. They're so wearable, so unique. I love the shape. And now watch me make a two-piece set out of this ridiculously small shirt. Okay, so I have this shirt. It's like a really old like workout shirt, but I actually really like like the strips of whatever this is. And I feel like this could be a really cute like Instabaddy inspired set. So I'm gonna try and do that now. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm gonna crop it as much as possible. Probably just gonna crop it like about right here because that seems like fine and this seems like enough space for a skirt. I don't know, but let's get chopping. So I started out by obviously just laying it out and then I used the floor to actually be my guideline of to make this line straight and look how cropped that is. So cropped, too much. Um. So I definitely kind of underestimated how this would fit. Um, yeah, okay, this has potential. This has potential. It's just like right now, like I would be like scooting it down, scooting this down. I was thinking, let me, let me put on a shirt. If I folded this and the same thing to this side, Boom, boom, boom. That could create a really cool, like, dart silhouette. Silhouette. I'm gonna pin that. Okay. Now, this is just too short. Like, I, I love crop tops, but this is like, this is not, this is, this is too cropped. Okay, so again, I'm taking that white eyeliner and I decided that I was gonna sacrifice the sleeves to add some length to this. So I'm just, again, with no scientific measurement at all, eyeballing where I want my sleeves to go. I would definitely suggest actually measuring, but I guess I was just feeling really confident. So then I just cut these sleeves and then you will see me stretch out the material. Um, where I just cut to create a prettier hem. Then I am cutting down the center of the sleeve. I'm actually gonna do this to both sleeves, both sides of the shirt. And I'm lining up that line of stitching with the bottom of the cropped shirt. And then I am going to cut that so that it's very close to the line of stitching, but not too close that I can't still sew it on. So then I'm lining it up and cutting that to match the shape of the shirt so that it can all be lined up perfectly and fit. Then I am going to flip that over so that both sides are laying face to face and this side is now inside out, which is goes along with that concept where you wanna sew on the inside out so that it doesn't show. Okay, so now I think all I am going to do sew both of the things that we just pinned. Oh my god, guys, this is looking pretty freaking good, if I do say so myself. Look, look how cute. God, I'm proud of me. This is probably one of the best jobs I've ever done. Now I have these awkward things right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead, because I know I'm gonna have to do it anyway, and just sew these up together. Ooh. <laughs> do you see this? Do you see what I made? I think I'm just gonna try and make a waistband out of the material I have left. 
So then I literally just folded these pieces of fabric to um, look like these little square rectangle, I don't know my shape strips. And then this is where I started getting really lazy and this part's a little um, not great, but it's fine. And this is where I use fabric glue, but this did um, secure, it secured my confidence in fabric glue. It's good, it works. This actually looks so cute, I think. I like it. It's definitely like the waistband is a little janky when you look up close, but it worked out. I really like this angular thing we did here. I love how literally this would not, it literally would have looked like this, except we put this here. So there's an extra stripe, which I think is so cute. I love how this set came out and I think it's a great example of how versatile t-shirts and shirts can be for thrift flips. Definitely I would try to use a bigger shirt next time but overall I think this was a success. Art and fashion go hand in hand and I really wanted to play with the concept of creating a piece of art that you can actually wear so I ran with that idea. So here's the next situation is that I have this shirt. I don't know if anyone else has ever read this book, Miss Rumpheus. It's like a children's book that I used to read a lot when I was a child. Miss Rumpheus is this woman who dedicates basically her entire life to just planting flowers in return that like brings the entire town and all the people joy for years and years and years. So I have the shirt and then I wash it and I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera, but it's pink now, which I would be fine with, but it's like splotches of pink. And then I have these jeans Actually, they're my dad's old jeans. I feel like he's probably not gonna wear them again. I don't know. Sorry, dad, if you wanted these, but yeah, sorry. But anyway, I think I'm just gonna like cut parts of that out and like put them on this and try and make it look cute. It's a artistic process. So what I did next was just pick out pieces of the shirt that really catch my eye and just kind of place them in random places. This definitely took some trial and error. Um, this is kind of the more final product. So I chose these words to put over the knees and then I picked these two images of Miss Rumpia's watering the flowers that kind of go together and I liked how the two pockets kind of tell a story within each other. Like she's watering on one side of the flowers on the other. Then I picked these beautiful pastel colors that I love to kind of blend the picture into the jeans if that makes any sense at all. Um, I'm just using a sponge because that's my favorite way to do it and I'm just applying the colors just randomly kind of just where they catch my eye. I'm so excited about these. I'm so happy how they turned out. I have the little pocket here which I painted and just put that on like the second little pocket that's in here. This other pocket I just left alone. As you move down the legs, you will see right here says, you must do something. And I painted and then on over this knee, it says to make the world more beautiful. And I painted a little bit over that. I just really liked that painted look. I thought it really just added something interesting, I guess. And then the butt, of course. I think these came out beautifully. I love that they're custom to something that's very nostalgic to me. I love the colors. I love that they're unique in that they're a piece of clothing that's also a piece of artwork. And I highly suggest doing something like this with your clothes because it would make me very happy. So thank you all so, so much for watching this video. I know it was a little bit all over the place. Thrift flips are just, at least for me, I'm still trying to figure out what type of structure I want for them, um, if that makes sense. So let me know what you liked and what you didn't like about this video, because I would love your feedback. And I hope you loved these flips. And if you try any of them at home, make sure you DM me a pic at... I hope you all get inspired to maybe do some flips of your own, and I will see you all next time. Thank you.